What's good, YouTube? <clears throat> Let's come again. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm wishing you all a happy new year. Um, today I'm coming with something a little bit different. You may already know by the title below that this is about weaning your child off breast milk. Now, if you didn't know before, as I, like I just said from the title below, you know by now that I am a mother to one child. Weaning my child and just a few tips to go along and the reason to why I, well, not the reason to why I felt like breastfeeding and stuff and how I kept to it with the mindset of this generation where they just cannot be asked to breastfeed. I'm not saying everybody, but a lot of our generation just can't be asked to breastfeed. So I just wanted to give you guys story plus I'm, I'm asked a lot I'm also asked a lot about um, how I kept up with it and how I even got him off it and just you know stuff like that so yeah without further ado let's get into the story when I fell pregnant I had this big mindset that I was legit gonna breastfeed nobody was gonna change my mind from that unless he just didn't take to it himself when he was born but other than that nobody was gonna change my whole persona about breastfeeding or anything I knew that that's what I wanted to do from the very beginning of finding out that I was pregnant. So with that being there stuck in my head 24-7, I knew that nobody was going to ever change my mind to put in my SMS milk or just all that. For me, I just felt like rest is better. So yeah, I breastfed my child for, he was like two and a bit, so he just turned two. I took him off six months after he turned two. So yeah, um, he was just about to start nursery. But saying that before he started nursery, I was already weaning him off. I started weaning him bit by bit from after like he was like one and a half. The reason why I started so early is because um, I never thought that I would have carried on breastfeeding him until after the age of one. I, I, I thought that I would have stopped at one or just a tiny bit after and it ended up going a bit further in. So like when he was about one and a half, I thought, okay, I need to stop weaning him off. So then I then kind of slightly weaned him onto cow's milk. So he would have a bit of cow's milk and then he would have um, breast milk in between. So say like if I needed to go out before, I would pump out a lot of milk for him and leave it with the family and stuff. But then I just stopped that and I said, you know what? When I go out, you will give him cow's milk. So he started getting used to that. That's how I um, weaned him up. He got to about two years old, like I said, and I knew that he was going into nursery. So um, I bit by bit was just slowing down, giving him the breast milk through the day and the night. for. A, a a long period of time I'd give him breast milk from he wouldn't have none all through the day he would eat and stuff and you know drink normal ordinary milk and then at night time I'd give him the milk when he's going to bed but when it was coming up to like his time to go to nursery I had then just stopped it like completely just stopped giving him breast milk he came back and I think he expected to come just mom 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 and I was like no it's finished it's finished I said do you want some milk like normal milk so I've gone into the kitchen and made him normal milk and stuff like that and he took that from then I saw that he could handle that me saying that it's finished and I thought wow I can I can do this I can literally do this okay before me just completely cutting him off there was a trick that my girl learnt me shout out to Taisha you are a babe I love you for this like I don't know what I would have done if I didn't if she did not tell me this trick I saw her like one of the times at another friend's house and I was she was like he's still breastfeeding this that and the other I said are you she's like no I'm kind of weaning mine off and this that and I said how are you doing this so I was just like oh well I've been putting sellotape was it sellotape or plasters or something I think it was sellotape I've been putting sellotape on my nipples and I was like Now saying that she's just mad like that she's she finds out all these kind of things i'll even link her blogs and stuff she does blogging and stuff and she will help you along the way with little things like this like you wouldn't even think to do that maybe if you, maybe some people would but I, I didn't think to even put sellotape or plasters on my nipple to 
to stop my son from going on it. So when she told me, I thought, okay, I'm gonna try that. It actually sounds like it would work. It's, yeah, it, she said, yeah, it's been working for me. It's been really good. So I went home and I tried it. I put it on and I had my top on and everything like this, right, everything on. And he just went to grab it off and go on the breast as they do. Any mother knows if they're breastfeeding, that's what the child does, wherever you are. If he wants his milk, or they want the milk, they're going to get it. So he saw it, the, um, the sellotape on my nipples, and he's like, is the chick just paused, like, mom, 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 mom. And I'm like, ugh, nasty. So at this point, I'm kind of learning him that when that's on, not to bother touch it. And he was like, ugh. Ugh. And then he's just legit got off me and carried on playing and I was like that actually worked Like I was thinking oh my gosh that actually worked So t shout out to Taisha for that um, I then carried on doing it and um, like I said prior to him starting nursery and stuff I was doing that a lot when he turned two So by the time he started nursery he knew that he knew that whole method And he was basically cutting off breast milk anyway So I didn't just chop him off breast milk milk when he started nursery he was kind of cutting off it anyway but um yeah so like I said I just left it to the night times and from the night times he just stopped going on it anyway like even on the night times when he wanted his night feeds he would sit there so the daytime was caught and now the night times are being caught and he would just sit there and he was just like okay and he'll just lie on my chest go to sleep and there you go there's your tips um I hope this helps you it helped me um like I said shout out to Taisha for letting me know that tip um and I I thought I'd just bring it to you guys and let you guys know too because it helped a lot. Let me know if you know any other tips that I can give out to anybody else as well in the comments box below. Also like this video if you liked and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Is it